No possibility that Steffi Bull is being uh, outweighed by Amir Khan here tonight. He's a genuine lightweight. And he said that when he goes into the ring, he'll be something like 10 stone 7. This fight was made at 9 stone 11. And you can see he's in terrific shape. It took Khan just 55 seconds to win his last fight. So don't go anywhere. Keep your eyes on this one. Khan, I think, will start fast. And he has done. And Bull said that he won't make the mistake of jumping in and just allowing Khan to counter him like so many of his opponents have. He said that he'll make Khan think. Well, we will see. Maybe easier said than done. The southpaw stance may provide Khan with uh, one or two problems, but he's fought southpaws before and not had a problem. Khan just waiting for Bull to commit himself. Nothing really so much attacking so far from Bull. Good left hand from Khan. You can see that blurring hand speed again. Aiming to sit down on his punches, as Barry McGuigan was telling you. Get the strength through his legs to really land with concussive power. That's a good left hand. Good left hand from Khan. Bull, who's been a fighter since the age of 12, turned pro at the age of 17. At one stage, the youngest in the country. Left hand did land from Bull, but now here goes Khan. Left hand and right hand. If Bull waits too long, Khan will just pick him apart with these flashy, quick combinations. Good body shot from Khan. He drives his man across the ring again, doubling up with blurring hand speed with that left-hand lead. Tests ahead for Khan this year could include the Commonwealth champion, Willie Limond. Maybe the British champion, John Thaxton. For now, he's got to cope with Steffi Bull, and that's a good right hand. Bull just trying to present, present an elusive sort of target. Well, he's done that thus far, John. He's prepared to give away the opening round his ball just providing he just wants to circle the rounds get round the ring try and stay out of harm's way doesn't want to be a first round casualty and has done a good job of surviving up to now I remember a few years ago he went 11 rounds with Dean Pithy the Coventry fighter who is a, a decent sort of fighter he's beaten Daniel Thorpe beaten Daz Baz Carey both fighters who Khan's accounted for already in his career one low there from Khan, and Bull protests about it, and there is a little bit of a word of admonishment from McDonnell towards Amir Khan. It was the left hand which strayed low. Khan just looking to bring the high guard down of Bull, trying to work him to the body. Bull's chin is high up in the air. Every time Khan starts the combinations, the chin's right up in the air. Millennium Stadium, we've got Joe Calzaghi against Peter Manfredo coming up for you. Amir Khan doing enough to win the first round against the tall southpaw from Doncaster, Steffi Bull. So much hype about Amir Khan here being seen for the first time to a huge United States audience. This fight going out live on HBO and there'll be so many talented fighters across the states and across Mexico Central America where the depth of talent in this division is nowadays keeping a very close watch on Khan and just seeing if he's as good as everybody says Khan not being able to use the jab to any real effect at the moment with the southpaw stance can't quite find it so he's putting the combinations together without a lead punch Bull's face, face just reddening a little bit as he eats another left-hand lead from Khan. Maybe about the first time that Khan's been in with a, a fighter apart from one, maybe, who's his sort of height. Khan stands about five, ten and a half, and Bull much the same. 
Oh, good straight right from Khan. Khan punching quite impressively with combinations. But he's following Bull around the ring. Needs to cut him off just a little bit quicker. Well, sort of tried to wind up with that overhand right. Some oohs and ahs from the back of this massive auditorium. And here comes Khan again. Good body attack. Maybe it looks a little bit over anxious to try and impress. That's it in a nutshell. He's just a little bit too, too keen. Needs to use the jab. Just find his way in. Bull was insistent, saying, I'm not just here as an opponent. I'm here to try and win this fight. I'm going to make him think, and sooner or later, my opportunity will come. And his manager, John Rushton, who single-handedly just about keeps boxing going in Doncaster, puts about four or five shows on a year, he said Khan's an overrated fighter. Well, maybe, maybe not, but Khan's winning this one so far. Not too much resistance coming back from Bull. Starting to look very, very disorganised in there. Closing seconds of the second round. Scheduled to go eight, remember this one. Khan just waiting for Bull to create an opening, waiting for him to commit himself. It's Bull who lands with one to the body, but it's another round, this one, for Amir Khan. They're saying in the Khan corner, you've got to throw more straight right hands to cope with the southpaw stance of Bull, more like that. Well, Bull might be saying to himself now, OK, I've got through the first two rounds, you know, I need to test this kid, see, if we, see what he's really made of, if I'm going to have any chance of winning this fight. Khan, of course instantly recognizable he's a figure who already even at this tender stage of his life just 20 years old and after 11 professional fights already in british sport almost transcends sport being a headline act from word go Buller at the moment showing some of the ring savvy that's seen him be a professional for a long time and holding on just to buy a bit of time and mess khan about in there well, every time Bull takes a clean shot, he ties Khan up straight away, which is what his experience is all about. Comes into this fight on the back of a six-round victory against the journeyman Carl Allen. Khan tried to narrow down the ring, but uh, made to miss a little bit amateurishly there with that left hand. Oh, Khan needs to switch his attack. He's gone head hunting. He needs to switch back to the body, try and bring down that high guard of Bull. He got back to the head. Nice body shot from Khan. Oh, good shot, right hand as well. And this is the big sustained attack that he wanted. And Bull goes down. Goes down in the third round. And Marcus McDonnell will keep a close look at him. The count's at seven at eight. Is he going to get up? He does, but it's all over. Steffi Ball didn't want any more. He's gone down with that sustained attack of firepower from Amir Khan. It's win number 12, 12 out of 12 for this prodigious young talent from Bolton. He caught him with a big body shot. Left hand, I think it was, into the body before he followed up with the headshot, the right hand, and from then on, Bull was on the receiving end. And as Khan unloaded, he showed a real predator instinct. He kept the punches flowing and was not going to let him away, was not going to let him escape off the hook from there. He saw the chance and he just built on it, punch on punch. As soon as he switched his attack, 